everybody. So today we're going to try Green Ghost Italian Style Pilsner from Arvon Brewing Company. So, um, Italian Style Pilsner with Grungeist Hops. Um, I've never heard of them, so I did look it up. I paid $3.89 for this. This was $5. So, um, just on the internet, uh, what this is saying... Um, typically used late in boils, including dry hop, um, peach passion fruit, um, hints of lemon zest and floral essence. Um, flavors of kiwi overripened peach dried lavender is what this thing's saying. I've never heard of these hops before. I, I almost want to try and brew with them. I do not like floral. Um, so... We'll see what this brings out, but this is my opinion. Uh, yours may differ, so you might want to try this. Um, no date on this one. Arvon, I think, is hit and miss with the dates. Uh, some of them, um, I find them. Some of them, I don't. So, whoa. I must have lifted that too fast. It's a weird color. I guess green ghosts, they were trying to make it green. I'm just making sure there is no date. Okay. Um, Off-white colored head I got. It kind of looks gray coming up through there. Pretty much uh, all small bubbles. About a half a finger of head. Color on this. What are you going to call that? Dirty light green. You guys are seeing more brown than what I am. I'll try and remember. I'll take a picture just to see what I get. From the light coming in here and here, I am seeing the same color. But here, it, it, it's like a dirty light clear green. Huh. Weird. Okay, let's go ahead and smell. I uh, first smell. I get that lime, that that citrus, light citrus in there. I almost want to say, like, a dank fruit, not. A ripe peach or a peach, like danky old peach. I don't, I don't smell floral. That, that's about it. I don't want to say like a cracker or a light malt or clean. I don't smell it. It doesn't smell like some of their other Pilsners or other Pilsners that I've had. Um, as far as like that Pilsner base. If anything, lime, I wouldn't say rotten peach, dank peach, fermented peach, something like that. Let's go ahead and taste. Pilsner base. Definitely getting that Pilsner, that sweeter malt, almost like crackery sweet malt um, in there. I, I do get some floral in the back. I'm going lime. Lime floral. Like at the very beginning, there's not a, light that, not a lot there. Um... But about halfway through the palette, it, it starts coming out like that, that floral lime um, comes out. It kind of overtakes that, that sweeter Pilsner malt. But then in the aftertaste, as your palate warms up, that malt, that sweet malt comes back. But then I still get the lime.
Hmm. I definitely don't get peach. I kind of... There's some bitterness in there. Yeah, at the back, there, there is some bitterness, and it does seem like it's growing. Um, weird beer. Uh, I wonder what they put in for the color. It's almost... I almost want to say they made hop water or something like that to put and dumped it in the beer afterwards. Like, how do you get that color? I don't even think hop water would be that color. That, it, it's a weird color. Um, 3.75, it's definitely not a throwaway beer. I, I don't think that floral that I'm getting is too much. I think that lime bitterness helps cover up the floral, or at least takes it away for me. Um, and then that Pilsner mop, it, it, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I think it's fine. 3.75. Definitely carved. Let's go ahead and check untapped. None of my friends have had it. 95 people have checked it in. 3.83 out of 5. A crisp, floral, smooth, hoppy, malty. Huh. Let's see if anybody commented something. Refreshing Pilsner. Bready, light, hop, crisp. Huh. Malty and sweet. Bready base. I wonder, I don't think I've ever had like lime bread, if that's even a thing. Like if you made a loaf of bread, white bread, and put lime zest in there or something like that, or lime in place of some of the water, if that's what this would taste like. I wouldn't say bready. I understand what they're saying, but it's Pilsner. It, 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 it's a sweeter malt. I, I think they have the style down um, as far as the base malts. Then, obviously, you can do whatever you want with the hops. So, But I wouldn't go bready. I'm trying to think of a bready, like, malty beer that I've had recently. And I can't, I can't even think of one. Because I think Bell's Lager of the Lakes, I get citrus, but I don't get like that breadiness in there. But I know I've had some, but I, I can't think of them. It, it's okay. I would say if you want to try something different or a light beer to mow with or something like that, definitely one to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.